My name is Bertha Skye, and I'm an elder in residence at McMaster University. And we're doing the taping here at Ash's office uh, at the hospital. And um, we're talking about medicine and uh, the value of our, our, our native medicine. It's used by our people and uh, the doctors and the nurses and the midwives are very interested in what we call our medicine or ceremonies that go with it. <clears throat> the one strongest medicine we have is cedar. And uh, the cedar, we can make tea out of it. Cedar tea. And it's um, a, a tea that is uh, for good health found in houses to we hang a branch in our homes to protect us. And I have cedar hanging above my door. And um, cedar is um, made by the, uh, the white man for a Buckley's cough, cough syrup. And it's very, very powerful. And it, and it works. It's terrible, a terrible taste, but it works. And, uh, <clears throat> and uh, our medicines are very strong. And uh, we put also tobacco, say, which is sage, or sweet grass, or, or cedars of tobacco too. We put it in a, a pouch like this, and we wear it around our neck. And uh, it's used for protection, to, for us to have a good mind and to um, keep the evil spirits away. And uh, we make these at, at, at ISP and, uh, and I do them for a lot of students. I make these little pouches. And uh, another tea that I brought is um, the sage tea. That is good for so many things, for opening your mind, your mind, and uh, we burn that for our, uh, to smudge, and, uh, and it keeps, um, it's like an antibiotic. And, uh, and our people use that so much. And the other one is the rose hip tea. I hope I can find it. The rose hip tea, I, I remember eating this when I was a kid. I eat rose hips and I didn't know how, how good they were. And, and it's, it, they almost look like cranberries. Um, cranberries, rose hips, high in vitamin C. And if you um, want to be healthier, drink rose hip tea. And um, to fight off colds and uh, be healthier if you drink, drink the tea. And another one is, um, this is, uh, <laughs> I picked this in the United States, in Florida in fact, and this is called the Old Man Whiskers. It grows from a pine, I don't know what the pine is called, but it's like green hair growing on a pine. and. This is a, like an antibiotic. And you can make a tea out of this also, but you put a small little portion of this in a cup with boiling water and let it steep for about 10 minutes. And, and it's also good for acne. 
you use a little bit of that, put it in hot water and, and wipe your face off with, uh, if you have a teenager with acne. And uh, the other one that's so in interesting is uh, the burdock tea. Oh, where is it? Oh, burdock root. <laughs> the burdock root is, is another, uh, like an antibiotic. If you think that it's a, it's a blood th uh, cleanser, it cleans your blood, and it's the first plant that uh, grows when you clear the land, and it's the first plant that will come up uh, for medicine. And, uh, and it's good for the nails and your hair. Uh, so many people are losing their hair, counting myself. It's getting really thin, and uh, if you take this uh, burdock tea, that will improve your your hair and your nails. And it's a um, blood cleanser. And dandelion root is good for so many things: gallstones, jaundice problems, arthritis, rheumatism. And, uh, and uh, I use this for cancer too. I use that for cancer along with 10 other medicines that I, I don't like to share too much. Um, but people can come to me and I'll make the medicine for, for um, prostate cancer and uh, women that have cancer.